Here we go. Moment, moment of truth. truth. Three, two, one. Whoa. Yes. This is the first car plate I've ever made. I'm here in Cyberjaya in Malaysia, and right in front of me are the new EV car plates that Malaysia's just introduced the owners. So you can see over here, this is very different from the old car plates you've seen in Malaysia, which are the black ones. And today, we're going to learn more about this car plate, understand why it's being introduced, and I'll give you an exclusive tour of the behind the scenes of how this car plate is being produced here in Malaysia. So you can see in this car plate here, there's a Malaysian flag, the Malaysian country code, and you see this strip here, this is an anti-forgery strip that's the same kind of uh, embossment used in the Malaysian currency. And over here, all the words here are embossed in, so it's harder to forge. What I mean by that is if you look at the P and the R, if someone tries to put and draw an R at the bottom, it's really hard to do that because of the different positions, the height. You can see even the O, if you're trying to make it an 8, there's a line over here. So this is really smart. And Malaysia is introducing this as the most advanced car plate in ASEAN. So apart from anti-forgery, from a distance, this looks like the EU car plate. And you can see over here, there's a QR code and also a serial number. So the serial number protects and allows the government to understand and quality control the car. When you scan the QR code, for now, you get the car plate information, you can get the serial number. In the future, they can scale this and make this even better. If Let's say you want to know the car model, the year of production, the ownership status of the car. And this is the front side of the plate. There is also a rear version of the same plate. Now what's different about the both is that for the front side, there is a built-in RFID. How smart is that? And not only that, this RFID which is sealed in the back, uses the whole entire plate as the antenna. So if you buy an off-the-shelf RFID, you just get this much. But built in, this whole thing is going to give you a much stronger signal. So my mind is blown away seeing how this is being produced and guess how much this plate costs. Now, the old school traditional black carpet typically costs around 40 to 70 ringgit. And if you do all the fancy cowboy versions, can go up to 350 ringgit. So with that in mind, this plate is 98 ringgit for owners to buy. Of course, you go to a shop and you may have to pay some installation costs, but this is good value for money. Knowing this, I was very curious to actually come to where these plates were produced here in Cyberjaya. And today, I'd like to welcome my co-host, Firus, who is a, a spokesperson yeah. to talk about the new EV plates. <clears throat> so thank you so much for joining me in the channel. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit more about this place and what our audience is seeing? Okay, so basically we are now in Cyberjaya, Malaysia. So this is where the magics happen, actually. This is where the future come from. And this is where the best plate, I can say, in Asia will be produced, basically. So I will guide you, I will uh, uh, make a, 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 a tour <clears throat> to you to show how this JPJ E plate will be made, actually. All right. Looking forward to hear from it. All so right. I see on top there, like we've got a S1, so that's the first station. Correct, correct. So this is where the orders come in yes. from uh, the car dealer or, or the car accessories, uh, where they, they, they can uh, <coughs> make an orders. And from here, we will uh, basically assess their request. It's either the request is legit for the EV cars or not. If not, we will reject and they need to resubmit again or they are submitting uh, uh, a different uh, from, from, from what we have agreed uh, basically on this uh, documentation. Lah. Got it. Okay. So yep. this is so, station one yep. out of six total stations. Right. What happens next? Okay, next we will move to station number two. This is where <clears throat> we have the blank plate over here. Okay. You can see all the blanks yeah. over here. This is the blank plate and this is where we tie the front plate and the back plate into the systems. And also uh, from here, the work order will be produced and stick at the back of this number plate. Wow. So that for the easier for the production to produce and to emboss this number plate. Basically. That is exciting. Yes. There's definitely going to be a future market one day if someone wants to, wants to print vanity plates, like if you want to print Cybertruck. May not be a valid plate, but it will be a nice thing to keep in my home. Yeah. Hopefully one day. As a souvenir, yes. Yeah, it's a nice souvenir. <laughs> but for now, the production is focused on Malaysian car owners because many people are looking forward to this new car plate. 
What happens next, virus? Okay, next is we move to number three, which is this is where is the embossing station. The embossing station, basically. Okay, so basically, <coughs> this is where the band plate. Okay, this is where we put the numbers, basically. So maybe I need someone uh, over here to to help me. You have your numbers, maybe. You want to try mine? Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so here, like that. Basically, yeah. The, the, we have two. Okay. The female and the male. Okay. So basically, this will be sit in between. Okay, got then it. Then we press. Here we are looking at a live production of an EV car plate. And even though I keep on saying the word EV car plate, this is actually the, the new JPJ E plate because yes. while it's being introduced for EVs now, in the future, other all cars in Malaysia could adopt this as well, not just EVs. Okay, so after we put it all in sequence, yes, we lift this one. Wow. And we put it like here, like this. Okay. Can I do it? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So from this one, yes, you just pull, push until you can feel there yes. is a notch and the, the the machine automatically will do the pressing. Okay. After you. Well, it's like baking your own pizza in the oven. Yeah. So, just, just all push. the way yeah, down? Yeah, all the way down. There we go. Goodness. This is Pull. very yeah. exciting. This is very so, exciting. Are you ready? Do we have to wait or it's all okay? No. Ready? Okay, so here good. we go. Yeah. Here we go, moment, moment of truth. truth. Three, two, one. Whoa. Yes. This is the first car plate I've ever made. Yeah. It's not complete yet, right? And it's not yet complete because Correct. there is that authentic black seal that's coming next. Correct. Okay, you can hold this one. Let's go to the next station. So basically, this is our second machine. Yes. If let's say the order is overwhelming, yes, there is a lot of order for uh, for 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 that day. Then we will activate a two machine at one time. Got it. I think you're gonna need more than two machines soon. Soon, <laughs> correct. What happens next? Next is actually we will put a foiling. Okay. We will put a color over here. This is what we call it the hot stamping uh, uh, machine. Where? We put the color, the black color, and also the border over here. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. This is how you do it. You want to try? Yes, please. Come. You just place the plate very near to this. Okay. Okay. And slowly guide it in. Yes. Okay. Let it go. And here we go. It's like pasting that authentic sticker right on top. Correct. Wow. So now it's a bit manual it's to do. It's ready instantly. Here we go. A legit car plate. Now I've got a Malaysian car plate. What happens next? Next is actually how we will embed the data inside this number plate okay actually so okay so you. that's the next station it says yeah. perso and qc we embed our details in this qr and also in this rfid okay. we will inject a key that the key it's only our key that we hold and control got it yeah this is where we control the key for, 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 for this product actually. Okay. So what we do, there is a system over here. Yes. We just put it in this reader. The system will activate and also we read this uh, 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 number plate and these numbers and make it stored in the server, in the system basically. Wow. Yeah. Very, very clear. Correct, correct. It's so impressive how it's, it's a smart plate. Correct. It's, it's a smart, smart plate. plate. Correct. Okay. Over here also, our supervisor basically will check on the physical, huh. the finishing, and also the, 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 the plate by itself, actually. Okay. Is it okay? 
the quality is there. The, the Perso things is, is done correctly and we're good to go for the shipments, basically. That's great. Yeah. That's it. That's it. This is amazing. So yeah. you've all seen that. Thank you so much, Virus, for this tour and allowing us to, to create a mock-up plate here, as you all can see, the entire production process. Correct. For a lot of people who are seeing this, this is a great advancement. It's a testament of Malaysia's leadership in thinking about how to make cars safer and smarter. And I know many of our peers in ASEAN will be thinking about how can we at least adopt some of this? Because today, this is just very smart. Now, there's a huge investment in technology that comes with building all this infrastructure. EVs are still growing in adoption in Malaysia. Today, we're producing about 3,000 EVs per month. And so it takes time to scale production. And so the companies behind investing in this, they're looking to, again, make Malaysia's roads a safer and environment. We want everyone to enjoy technology being integrated. Correct. It's like yeah. people who buy EVs today, you're buying it because of great technology. Now the plates are as smart as the cars that we buy. Hopefully we see these plates across more of Malaysia's roads and one day beyond Malaysia's borders. Now what we can do to support this advancement is when orders come up for owners on 9 November, you can look through your dealers to try to order this for your cars. In the beginning, this will just be for EVs. And in the future, all ICE cars, all hybrids as well can adopt this. This is such an exciting day. Thank you so much, Virus, for this for opportunity. Coming. Yes, this has been amazing. All right, thank you very much. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos on EV car plates.